what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i know i know right but i got an extra hour i got an extra hour so i said let me slide in a spartacus reaction real quick um uh there's no way i could have done anything else i know that either you guys see my community post saw the schedule for the week and was like okay i'm not expecting any spartacus reactions <laughs> for the rest of the week um, you guys did get an episode on Sunday, so, um, but I'm gonna try to put out this episode, so we're just gonna jump right in, man, there are some questions, though, from episode one, you know, um, first of all, what is this magic trick going on, where, like, I need to know who stitched up Lucretia, like, we really do need to know that, because they can't just, that, that is a plot hole, <laughs> you can't just, you know what I'm saying? Even if she did it herself, I need to hear her say she did it herself. So I'm wondering who else is going to show up. Episode one was one of the best season openers I've ever watched on TV, regardless of what type of TV show I'm watching, whether it be a sitcom, whether it be just a regular TV show, drama, superhero shit. Best season opener I've watched. I would I would say in a long time barring like maybe game of thrones i mean power had some really some really good season openers too um yeah but i'm talking about hype and just covering like so many things to get you hyped going into the season and ready for episode two um so uh, spartacus finally listening to Crixus, like by the time let's build an army let's get to a legion and come back for this glabber dude okay um, man, Aurelia went out like a G, <laughs> she told Spartacus, like, yo, don't go near my son, bruh, all you bring is trouble, <laughs> you know, and I can, I, as I said, I understand things from her perspective, but I also understand things from Spartacus' perspective, because in his mind, he was protecting her, not putting her in danger, so, in some ways, you can look at it really and be like, you, you just bitter, you know, <laughs> but, you know, but you do understand things from her perspective. But anyway, let's jump into this episode and I'll catch you guys for the review. All right. So season two, episode two is in the books of spartacus man spartacus vengeance season two yes we are here to discuss this was a very i will i want to say very slow episode but well paced um it was slow in say um in comparison to other episodes of spartacus of course i think it's one of the slowest episodes i've ever watched of spartacus where it's like you know what I'm saying? But but it, but it was well paced. I there was I'm not saying it's slow in a bad way. I'm saying slow in a good way, as in trying to establish a storyline for the season. So what this is, season opener, big reveals, you know surprises, you know, glab, glabber legatus whatever, gets caught off guard, blah blah blah. But it, this. The um, first episode a bit more fast paced. This one is more slow down because we're trying to establish storyline, establish where everybody's at in a story. Right? So, um, of course, you know, they liberated another villa with another Dominus and they've taken up residence there. They was about to leave the next morning when these um a scouting party of seven was looking for, they they want to have words <laughs> they want to have words with the dominant of the house or dominance of the house um that you know spartacus and crixus and his men are at so um so they pretended like they had left and just tell him to tell him that he went to some place or whatever so I'm so Nasir is, is he's growing on me. I think he's gonna realize after a while. Um, that's why I was a little confused there with the scene because I was like, he didn't seem like he was trying to betray them. It just kind of seemed like, you know, what I'm saying, invite them in to the slaughter. You know what I'm saying? Easy, easy pickings. You invite them in, y'all hide behind the door, whatever scenario it is. They walk in, you close the door, boom, boom, bop. 
they done, they gone. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was thinking in my head. That that was the plan. But when he said he betrayed us, I was like, by doing what? <laughs> you know, I was confused. It was like, so, but he explained himself. was like, hey, he looked at my neck, recognized that my collar was gone and that my collar wasn't there. So he was trying to leave, right? He was trying to leave. So I was trying to get him to come in. You know what I'm saying? And y'all could dipsy do kill them all whatever so he explained himself and told him his real name um you know there's still a small percentage still there that i don't trust him but at the same time he's growing on me so we'll see how things go with nasir anyways navia is nowhere to be found at this villa when they arrive there so she's been passed on to another house again she was being passed around um, to ev to all these villas just being used and abused and, and and just sent to another villa to get used and abused again. So she, she it's really true that she might not be the same person that Crixus fell for. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think his feelings are going to change. I think it's going to be one hell of a reunion because I don't think Nivea is dead. Um, so on the other hand. Lucretia is now a witch, I, <laughs> you know, she is somewhere in that category where it's just like now that she's the, she's the, the house priestess, you know, where she is the vessel that the gods use to communicate. And it just so happens that the most treacherous person in the, um, in the whole show since it started has shown up. Back at the Batiata's house with Adamaeus, which was Adamaeus was out there. Um, Adamaeus was out there trying trying to get himself killed in the pits. Um, I remember from the pits, uh, you know, he said that he's gonna go to the one and only place where people with no honor deserve to be, and that is in the pits. Spartacus basically had to fight himself out of that place. Now Adamaeus is going there because he desires to die because he's lost his purpose which we all understand what he's going through. But what now? Now you're back at the house. What is going to happen now? You know what I'm saying? So that is yet to be seen. There's not, as I said, there's not much here to discuss because it was just establishing the storyline for the season of where to, where each of these groups are going to be. You get what I'm saying? And what they're going to be doing. And I appreciate that. Um, you know, Elitha still has... She still has some bad feelings towards Lucretia, even though Lucretia doesn't remember anything that's going on. She still has this feeling like Lucretia is not to be trusted, even though she doesn't remember anything, you know. But I think over time, she's going to remember certain things and maybe start to be scared because he didn't even know. So it's like, don't believe her. She made her sacrifice. And here comes Anamaeus just delivered just out of nowhere. And... It's crazy, you know what I'm saying? Um, but in any case, you know, we're here once again, you know. So, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this with me. Um, it was very cool, you know what I'm saying? Mo most of y'all would understand what, I, what I'm talking about when I talk about, you know, slow pace, but it was still a good episode, you know. But in any case, man, thank you guys so much. I'm trying to make sure I didn't leave anything out that was that went on in the episode. I talked about everything, all the discussions um, that happened. Um, it was some very phil philosophical thing that um, that Titus said to Anamaeus when he was younger that I really messed with. I didn't pause it to talk about it, um, but it was very when he was talking to him about his purpose that he has to find something other than you know fighting for another person like you have to come up with a better purpose than that you get what i'm saying but in the end he's that was still his purpose but in any case that is something that we all have to forge ourselves for ourselves you know what i'm saying so definitely i i mess with that big time big time you know what i'm saying so that was some really good words he spoke to him there um, so thank you guys so much for tuning in as always remember to subscribe if you're new leave a like and leave a comment in the comment section and your boy will see it and love it 
Okay? Anyways, Terabyte Reacts is here. And now I'm gone. Peace.